Welcome back, everyone, for more Subnautica Below Zero modded. You see, I got my buddy Picasso still walking around. Today, though, we're not worried about the pet mod, but that was last time. This time, we're going to check out the better Sea Glide mod. Not to be confused with the Super Snow Fox mod, different thing. Super Snow Fox, better Sea Glide, not Super Sea Glide. Though I'm sure there's a Super Sea Glide mod out there. This is the better Sea Glide, and it brings a bunch of options. So let's start at the top. For one, we get a boost with the left shift. Now, there is a mod out there already that does a boost for the Sea Glide. This has that included. We have light options, so we can change things like the brightness, the range, the cone size. We have light RGB, so we can change red, green, and blue. We also have Sea Glide RGB. So we can change the color of the sea glide with that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like the red. Go a little bit. We'll just go straight red. How about that? So we got a nice red sea glide. We're going to go with. What? Well, I can't really see the color of the light here. Oh, yeah. Nice purplish, kind of like a black light color to it. And then we want to increase the. Not the brightness, but the range. Let's see. We're going to go up to 100. <laughs> Let's go test this out. It's not nighttime, but I can still go into a dark, deep place to try this out. So you can see just how far out my light reaches, but it seems to be more still the immediate area. Like, I'm not seeing the effect way out there. Where's the copper ore? Oh, <laughs> I was like, where's the copper ore I'm picking up? Like, you can see a little bit of the effect right there on that light stall, but not the bladder fish behind it. Let's see how far... Uh, he's just not showing the effect anyway. Let's see. How soon can I see the effect on the... Starting to see the effect from here to there. Yeah. Well, you can see it lighting up a bit. But you're not getting as much of the color there. Look at that. You can even see it over there affecting a little bit of the uh, sea monkey over there. So it's a good range to it. Cone size. Let's just make it as wide as possible. Oh, yeah. I can't even see how wide the light area is. So that's, let's say it's a 70 degree cone. That's a 90 degree cone. So you can see it's coming in against the peeper right there. So you're just widening how uh, big it is. It's a 120 degree cone. So it's, it's not 180, but it's wide enough. You're getting 60 degrees to each side of you. And that's only 35 degrees to each side. Let's just see what happens if I turn the brightness way up. Like It, it looks blown out. Like, that's, it does kind of look blown out a bit. Let's turn it back down. Say So it's not overdoing it. And there's one of the little mini brute sharks residual from when I use the uh, random creature size mod. Which apparently stuck, even though I used it a while ago. I got a brute shark scan finally. Sea glide light range look at that. oh yeah you can see how much more is much more apparent with it being just a plain white color the light i guess it's reaching all the way there to the cones or to the thermal vents my cone the light options is definitely interesting i think i like the rgb element of it more than the other parts uh which you know Right now, except for that little lightning flash there, it's dark. I can't see the color on the sea glide itself. All right, we got to try this speed boost out. I also want to see if it just starts to drain power like crazy. So we're going at a speed of around six. Left shift. Okay, I thought left shift. It says left shift. It doesn't say anything about enabling the boost. I mean, left shift. Okay. So I'm holding down left shift. I'm not getting a boost. Yeah, so nice. I mean, how clean that is on the sea glide. It's so shiny looking. It just looks 
like it was meant to be done this way. Of course, it doesn't have as much of an effect when it's outside and it's nighttime or you're in the dark, period. So I quit the game, completely deleted the mod folder, recopied the mod folder over, and we're gonna try this again, just to make sure I've got a point of reference. We're going at six for the speed and boost. 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 Boost is not working. Okay. Let's try a different key. You know, um, Z. Sure, we'll just try Z. All right, see if this works. So, Z. 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 Okay, so either the boost is just not working at all or I have some other mod that's interfering with the boost functionality. And I can't think of what that would be because this is the only one I'm using that affects the sea glide. That's disappointing. But oh well. Oh, you got some. Yep, you got something for me. Here we go. Titanium. I am going to get to work doing some more building. More decorations with the base. So I want to change this room into like the green room not the green room for like a band or some fancy celebrity a green room where we have plants all over the place maybe even throw in some wall planters too like that yeah we'll just make this a lovely green room going all around like that yeah we'll just have uh, is the jungle room. It's like a place to come and feel like you're getting some fresh air and a nice green place. You know, people who probably get stuck working like Arctic expeditions would wish they had something like this. Get out of the garden! Quit trampling my marble melons. I eat those! So I don't want to block the walls off. I've done that before where we split things up with partitions. I feel like I want to do something a little different this time. Like, instead of having the partitions all connected, doing it where we have, like, not a maze, but kind of a maze. Like, different, just like room dividers sort of thing. And have it do kind of like this, where you just have, like, you go through here, you got all these. We'll have, like, planters on the walls. Actually, I might shorten these a bit. We should get them right in the center. That would be really nice. There's a little bit more adjustability for these. Like, why can't I not just put it straight across the center there? Even the building tweaks doesn't allow for that. I'm going to line them up right against the little uh, square. Makes it very consistent. We'll have benches across the whole thing. Yeah, we're going to have planters so you can come in, you know, grab a snack or just enjoy the fresh air from the plants. But most part i'm gonna keep that kind of open so we're gonna you know i i gotta have to take some of these out so we gotta have like to this corner right here and i'm gonna get that over on this side once i get this out of the way we'll have that over there so we'll do one there too so yeah actually let's get some of these moving and i think i'm just gonna do like you know simple like that just that's all you know fever peppers uh one will be all chinese potatoes yeah just do that it'll keep it simple instead of trying to make them all mixed and matched a certain way just keep it to the same type in each planter right there we go just need some more plants and you know what we'll do some uh chic plant pots instead of having the little uh dividers that won't place quite where i want just use plant pots same thing gives you this nice little kind of division down the middle as you walk through but uh, it's gonna be decorative and i'm thinking tree based ones like uh a mixture of the lantern yeah, lantern, horseshoe, and pepper trees. Let's see how many I got. I've got four. Actually, what we'll do is we'll alternate it. We'll do like uh, 
lanterns on the outer edges and then peppers in the middle. That's why it's, it's more of the food aspect. And I still have to let all this stuff grow in. It's time to do some outside gardening. Because let's face it, that, while useful enough to get me going, is pitiful when it comes to looks. We do another set of foundations coming off. Oh, hey, metal salvage. Thank you. All right. Coming off this way, which is what I did before to build the platform. What do you want? Yo, it's what I did before for that little platform over there. It just didn't work as far as the position for parking the extra C truck modules. So now it will work for this. Actually, that's might be a little too tall there. And you go a little bit lower. There we go. We got to make sure our plants aren't stinky, sticking out of the water. It, it'll work. It just won't look quite right when you got creep vine kind of defying gravity. So now I have a total of 12 sits in each row. Thank you, Mr. Monkey. And I've already put down creep vine seed cluster. So I'll have glowing end points, but that's 12 garden spots I need to fill. So I need to get some supplies going in terms of plants. So including the decorative plants, I should have pretty much almost the exact amount to really line this up. So I'm just going to do certain ones as only that plant in that grow bed and then start getting some of the other ones for the decorative kind. So this will be like all the antenna plant and I'll probably do one that's all just creep vine. Uh, I'm trying to decide how I want to do some of these because of I want to do something that doesn't contrast too much. I want to have something that kind of blends like this and this both glow, but the color difference there. So we also have plants like the bullseye shroom, which conveniently right here <laughs> next to it. So I don't have to go very far for these, uh, which is nice. But you know what? We'll just uh, throw them over here for now. Also, we have red wart, which is right by this area wait for those uh violet bow oh no i got a baby to it after me uh yeah he's not the full size he's a little guy but he's still coming after me he's still gonna hurt me oh yeah this is absolutely where that boost would be very helpful sea glide boost still not working Spotted dock leaf, which can be found here in the lily pad island area, not up in the islands down here amongst like the fallen lily pad petals. I want to take. And of course, my inventory is full. Good thing I have storage on the sea truck thanks to the storage mod. I really wish we could farm frost anemone hearts. I mean, that would just be a good one. Perfect one to farm Vital signs inside. Uh, and now I can't tab out because I'm frozen. So I spent a bunch of time looking for this last one because I knew I only had one seed tucked away uh, because I had had it before in the large alien containments. And that, wow, Mr. Chalicera is getting very close to the base. He's like right there. He is right there. You know, it, it might actually be useful that I have the better sea glide and uh, I can, you know, do this because <laughs> he was right there. I'm going to find him. Oh, he's now he's going away. He's he's luring me out into his area where he's supposed to be. But he, he seems to be sneaking into my area now. Oh, yeah, he did it. Oh, he came in fast. Did he get the sea monkey? No, he's coming after me. But, you know, he's a small guy. I seem to be dodging him fairly successfully. Come here. Come on. Uh, I'm just going to scan you. It's unusual that they run away from me. But he's doing that. Until I say it. I, I, I made him mad because I said he was running away from me. Little old me. There we go. Got a scan. Now I'm out of here. And with all that time, I now have 
a pretty decently filled out little spot and he is stuck it looks like i bet he's stuck he looks like he's stuck so let's see if that's enough to yep one extra so that's okay i can i can uh, I'll, I'll toss it i guess oh no once again, now I'm having problems with the grow beds not letting me target a plant. I cannot hit the spiral plant. It's not letting me get a clipping. It's acting like the whole thing is the grow bed. Okay, now can I... Yeah. So all I did was take out the, the little anemones. Was it the anemones? What are they called? I took those out and slowly the spiral plant started working. Yeah, the young cotton anemone took those out. Suddenly was able to harvest the spiral plant. There we go. I actually collected too many. I keep doing that. So the jungle room, as I'm going to call it, is done other than, you know, maybe I could put some pictures up, uh, posters, things like that, that might fit. I also have this and this two planters completely empty i don't know what to put in there and i actually have room for a planter over there if i line it up the same way so it gives kind of a frame around the door i don't know what to put in i've got all of the land-based edible plants so or not even edible plants i got the utility plants too i don't know what else to put so if you know of a mod that as a new plant since we don't have the decorations mod yet at this point if you know of a mod that adds some new plants to the game post it in the comment below i would like to check it out maybe throw some new plants in here after all i have a pet had a pet wandering around where you go i just noticed that picasso is gone my pet is gone where did he leave you go over here no he didn't but there he is he got through so last time I never saw him actually change rooms. He changed rooms. He walked through over here and now is put himself in the corner. He's in trouble. He has put himself in timeout. And then we have the water jungle, which doesn't look quite as much jungle like. It's a little bit more spread out. But I have all the different plants, I believe. I have all of them. And I have one over here that's completely empty except for the one creep vine with the seed clusters. If you've got a suggestion, let me know of what to put here. If there's one I've missed, or again, if you know of a mod to add new plants, let me know and I'll put it in. And I think I I did not get the last ones over there. I thought I had finished this up. I thought I filled it in. I missed a couple of spots. There we go. All right, that's filled in. This is filled in. All those are filled. Everything's filled in except for that one on the end oh and well the spiral plants they take a while but i will get those filled in so yeah if you know of a mod that has some new plants even if they're just decorative let me know in the comment below if you've got a suggestion for what to place down in the empty spots leave it in the comment below but for now that's going to be it for this episode if you want to check out the better seagull mod there will be a link in the description below for that as well it's nice but you know the boost doesn't work uh for some reason with my gameplay so i'm just gonna take it out it's not gonna make a difference for me to have the color on the sea glide when i only see it once in a while and the light's not that beneficial in the long run with the sea glide but if you want to check it out link in the description below but like i said that's it for this episode so if you enjoyed it hit the like button and i will see you next time